Hi everybody, today I'm going to review the Stark USA Elite and this is an angle die grinder and it's a kit. It has uh, everything you need really besides the NPT nipple that uh, you know depends on your hair holes uh, this part. So make sure you order that too if you need one. And uh, inside the kit you will have all these great to uh, tools. You got uh, these discs that you can put on uh, this part so you can have sanding discs etc. Uh, these are to remove paint uh, but uh, you can buy different types uh, they're pretty universal. I also purchased uh, this just in case I need to cut something but uh, it's not recommended so I'm just putting it here for because I'm using it as storage. Now it comes with an extra chuck holder comes with all these comes like this and with the two tools that are right here now if I had to uh, ding this presentation I wish they made this part longer so you can use the box to store your tool after it has this NPT on it. Why? Why didn't they do it? But anyway, that's really a tiny, tiny, minor detail. Now, obviously, make sure that your compressor can handle the um, air volume that this tool needs. I have a really good compressor. It's a 6C SCF M, I believe, uh, but it, that's the um, universal, or at least in the United States, air volume specification. And uh, six is really good for somebody who, who's just a home user. Uh, it's a 30 gallon DeWalt. Highly recommended, I will say. So, uh, I'm really liking this for a few reasons. One, I wasn't able to stop it from spinning and grinding while using it. And two, it has this lock mechanism, which is really easy to operate. And then the lever has nice continuous motion that you can modulate the speed. Now, I'm sorry if there's any noise in this video, but uh, this is the weekend. People are mowing and blah, blah. Blah, yada yada. All right, so let me demonstrate this, and uh, I believe it does say here the specification that it needs. It needs four cubic feet meter. I'll write it down. I always forget. The no load speed is twenty thousand, and uh, the recommended arrows is three eighths of an inch. When you do dial your compressor to 90 PSI, make sure you dial it in while the tool is working. Otherwise, you're not giving the tool enough pressure. A lot of people don't know that. Another thing that this tool has is the air outlet is has a ring that you can point the direction of where the air goes. They uh, really did a nice job with this tool. Uh, make sure you oil the tool before every use. And I recommend this Marvel Air Tool Oil. It's, it comes in a little bottle. It's going to last forever. And it comes with this nice little uh, hole here that you could just put some oil and the tool. Very handy. Alright, so let me demonstrate it for you. I'm gonna use this big cone grinder. This doesn't have a lock in the chalk, so you gotta use two tools. Nice, compact, very cheap. I'm surprised how cheap this is. 
Uh, I'll post it a link in the description so you can get it if you do want to. So let me let me demonstrate it right here. I'm going to sharpen the blade on my mower. It's already sharpened, but I'm going to demonstrate how this is uh, working and uh, just give you an idea. Please use ear protection and eye protection. Very important. As you can see, you can't really change the speed on this. It's very hard to stop. I'm gonna let the compressor fill. Okay, well, on to the demonstration. So as I said, uh, it's, you can really, control the speed very well with this. Really impossible to stop this thing. Really good quality. If you have a good compressor, you're gonna like this uh, die grinder. And the angle is very nice uh, and practical for this application with, you know, uh, going like this uh, towards something in this angle. Obviously some applications uh, straight angle is better, but uh, I believe that uh, for, for something like this, this is probably easier to do. So. so, really good tool. Now, why do you need the die grinder? Uh, just in case you're wondering, say you wanted to remove all this rust here and paint it obviously after, you could just I would also recommend in this type of application to use an air uh, uh, face mask, uh, just something that would uh, prevent small particles being inhaled. I'm using one hand, I'm using one hand here, so it's kind of hard, but. Uh, Anyhow, this is it. I just played it with uh, some black. Uh, I don't have red right now, but maybe I'll do it later. Uh, just so it looks nicer. But uh, I love this tool. I highly recommend it. If you have any questions or comments, put it in the comment section. Please, please, thumb up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Till next time. Bye.